Hi, Yarnabees. It's me, Sandy, <laughs> if you didn't know who I am. <laughs> so I feel a lot better. Um, today I actually feel normal and human. So I just wanted to give myself one more day before I went back to work <clears throat> just to make sure that everything was a-okay. So far, so good. Um, so, yeah, it's been rough. <laughs> but we're over and done that now. And we're moving on. So uh, I've done a couple of things. I haven't felt like crocheting much. But then when I did feel like crocheting, I had a, a couple of orders that I had to fill. So, oh, let's see. Without me spilling everything all over the place, which is like uh, happens to me all the time. So I ended up, I was on a pickle kick. <laughs> so I made two little pickles, two minis. Uh, and then I made, oh, two biggins. This one needs a mouth. Forgot to put the mouth on it. And then I designed a little teddy bear. I know it doesn't have arms. So <laughs> I got I got bored and I decided, eh, it doesn't need arms. <laughs> so this is for a um commission. Well actually these are all for commission. The a commission that I order that I got. And then <sighs> I made a little turtle. So, so I did those. And I started to do a monster. It was the beginnings of a monster. Just little toes. And, and then I was supposed to make a horn. And I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to do this bloody horn. I tried and tried and I got really frustrated and I went you know what put it aside I don't even want to attempt it I'm just getting mad and I'm 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 feeling better so I don't want to get myself into that negative headspace so I thought I want to do another sweater and then I thought well I pulled apart that um, cocoon that I was doing from bag a day I just, <clears throat> I lost interest real fast. So I pulled it all out and um, now I've got it all <laughs> a bit of a rat's nest. And I thought, okay, what do I want to do? And then I thought, well, what about a waffle stitch um, sweater? And I thought, well, okay. I, I've designed a chunky one. I don't know if it's on my, did I do a tutorial on it? I don't remember. Um, if I did, it's in my playlist somewhere. But that was a long time ago. And that was fun. I liked doing that. But then I thought, well, I want to do like a cardigan type. Because the one I did was kind of like a bomber style. And so I thought, okay, well, I don't feel like designing my own. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> I went to MJ off the hook. And I found a beautiful one that I wanted to do until I saw the hook size. 3.75. Mm, not. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, and then I came across a new, uh, a new crochet. And she has one on her channel. And I thought, you know what? Anu has had a really rough year. <clears throat> she was not well there for a while. <clears throat> and I thought, you know what? In honor of Anu, I am going to do her cardigan. So her cardigan, it's called the Siska Waffle Stitch Cardigan Fall 19, or 2019. Okay, I'm going to leave the link down below. <clears throat> I am using the Colorama Halo. <laughs> Colorama Halo in... What color did I say this was? Where 
where's the color? I can never find the color on these things. Is there a color on these things? Well, anyways, it's the purple. I don't think that there's a color. Oh, it's on the other band, dummy. <laughs> Lavender Frost. <laughs> I forgot there was two bands on here. Yeah, okay. It's been that kind of a week. So anyways, so I am going to start doing that. And hopefully, I can figure it out. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Okay, a uh, hundred and thirty-six chains, just just to start. Okay. Okay, I've already started, and I'm not liking this hook for this, so I'm going to change hooks. I decided that I'm going to use one of the hooks that Angela from My Precious Yarnery gave me. She got me some dots hooks. And uh, usually I use this for hamagurumi, but I'm gonna use it for this. <laughs> okay, I'm at 50. And I'm going, okay, I'm going to lose my count. So I'm putting a stitch marker in at the 50. Because I know I'm going to have to recount this otherwise. Bailey, stop eating your chew toy. You can't be that hungry. You've already eaten. Put that down. No. Uh, come here. Yeah, get that out of your mouth. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, crap. What was I at? Oh, no. Uh, was I at 50 yet? Okay, I got 136, I hope. I don't know, do I? I think I do. Oh God, <laughs> not off to a good start. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta make a double crochet all the way along now. <laughs> and I'm already looking going, wow, these stitches are like really small. I really hope I'm not going to lose interest in this. I have a really hard time with patterns that are small. And like um, the stitches, <clears throat> the stitches are small or it takes a long time to do. I lose interest very quickly. And um, yeah. So... I guess we'll see how this goes. Do you ever guys, do you ever guys, do you guys ever, like when you're crocheting and you're concentrating really hard, do you find that your work starts getting closer and closer to you? You start going, like, <laughs> it's like all of a sudden your shoulders start going up and you start going in like this. Then you have to go, oh, wait, I can't see. I do that all the time. You know, if I put my glasses on, I might actually do this a little bit better. <laughs> okay, there we go. <sighs> All right. Maybe I should sit back and relax and get comfortable. Ah, much better. Okay, here we go. I just realized that this is like the medium size. 
Oh, well. Let's keep going. <laughs> I think that the first row of a waffle stitch is the hardest stitch because if you screw this up, <laughs> you have to undo all of it. So you can't, you have to be very careful and check your work as you're going to make sure that you are doing the front post, front post double and not a front post double front post or a front post double double front post. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've done that so many times. So I have to like really concentrate and I can't do when George is around because then all chaos ensues and so yeah so <sighs> here we go this pattern is worked from the bottom up and we are working right now on the front and the back together yay sure whatever number of thank god <laughs> Thank God I am doing the front and the back as one piece and I don't have to do three panels because this is going to take me forever. <laughs> Yay, a new. Oh, thank God you're doing this all in one piece. Oh, that makes this so much easier and so much more delightful to work on. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> now it's double, double, front push it off. Double, double, front push it off. Now we can just fly through this because it's pretty easy oh speaking of the waffle stitch did you know that I have a waffle stitch cat hat tutorial in my playlist for those of you that are new that don't know I do and yeah so you can go check that out shameless plug while I'm sitting here forever doing double crochets and posts. So, yeah. Double. Double. Front post. Okay, so it's hours later. I've had made dinner. I watched videos. It's now almost 11 o'clock at night. And that's how much I've gotten done. <laughs> this is going to take forever. I've been working on this diligently. But So the five and a half millimeter hook, and it's a four, well, I don't know. It's, it's more like a light four, you know, um, yarn. And this is supposed to be a cardigan. Oh, this is going to take a long time. But, like, my hands are starting to cramp. Oh. <laughs> oh. But I got my trusty... Okay. George has got my trusty hand massager thing. But, yeah. Oh. I am not used to doing something with a smaller hook anymore. I'm so used to doing the big plushies and everything now, or doing the big sweaters. Oh, eating yarn. But now I'm into the purple 
so that's good <clears throat> so gives me a bit of interest anyway oh. yeah it's gonna take me a while but I guess I better go to bed because I have to go to work tomorrow yay it'll be interesting because <clears throat> the weather's starting to get cold and there's frost on my car in the morning Luckily, George uses my car first thing in the morning to, door, to do DoorDash. So by the time I'm ready to go to work, my car will be thawed out <laughs> and nice and warm. But I'm, <clears throat> I don't drive in the snow. And I don't drive when it's icy out and stuff. So I'm going to be a little concerned about driving tomorrow. <sighs> but it's not like I'm just driving around the corner either. I've got like a... 45 minute drive to work anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes so yeah but it'll be good to get back I think um, maybe yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes so uh, and I just found out that on November 18th We've got a, a sip and shop, I think it's called, where the whole town of Shamanus, or the strip that the, the market's on anyway, um, they are all going to keep their shops open till 7.30. And people, you know, I guess have an alcoholic beverage or whatever, and they go around and do shopping. So that should be interesting. Um, hopefully I have some stock in. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm really hoping that Jeanette for Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts, um, for Miss Hootie's Crafts now, I'm hoping that she's going to be able to get some stuff out here in time for that. <sighs> and I'm hoping I can get some more things made in time for that um yeah it's like holy cow we'll see how it goes but anyway okay i'm gonna go to bed and i guess i'll talk to you in a bit